And I receive a very interesting uh, question uh, from a gentleman in the States. He's asking me, Mr. Yamamoto, I have. Hello there, this is Yamamoto Toshihiko from Yamamoto Property Advisory in Tokyo. Today's, uh, today's topic is the documents uh, you require uh, for acquiring the property and the registration of uh, your own property after you purchase. What kind of documents do you need to have uh, for the registration of your property, you might wonder. And I received a very interesting uh, question uh, from a gentleman in the States. He's asking me, Mr. Yamamoto, I have a quick question regarding buying a house in Japan. And uh, it might be a good topic for one of your videos. That's why I'm shooting right now. Since I'm a foreigner buying a house in Japan, do I, do I need Hanko? Uh, income, which is the seal, a name stamp, to sign all the documents. I heard that all legal documents in Japan needs to be signed with Hanko. That's a good question. Thank you very much for asking. First of all, in Japan, as he said, uh, all the legal documents or financial documents, money related documents, uh, usually uh, need to be signed by Hanko. Uh, or Inkan officially. Uh, official name is Inkan. Hanko is kind of a lot of uh, a colloquial name for the name stamp. This is my Hanko. This is my Hanko, Inkan. It has my name at the bottom. I register this Inkan, my name stamp, with the uh, local government so that they can issue the certificate that my income is my own income, official income, right? So the conventional use, Japan is changing a lot. 10 years ago, you have to still use, you had to use the income as a signature. But these days, those delivery uh, companies are willing to accept our signatures. You know, that makes uh, us much easier because you don't really have to bring your income to, to, to the gentleman at your doorstep. Official documents, as he's asking, still uh, all need to be signed by uh, Inca. And uh, so what kind of documents do you need, you, you, you wonder, right? After you require your property, you want to register your ownership with the officials here, right? If you don't register your uh, ownership or title, you cannot really legally argue that your property is yours. In Japan, uh, we have very uh, robust uh, legal system and the real estate uh, registration, it's called Tokibo, uh, can show uh, the official right by listing uh, the address and name of the owner. So if you register uh, your ownership with uh, our government body, it's called uh, Homukyoku. In English, the Legal Affairs Bureau. Obviously, it's the, the government body, so it's covered, uh, guaranteed by the government. Uh, if you register your ownership with the uh, Legal Affairs Bureau, the government can prove that your ownership is right and correct. So you can officially register your ownership right with Legal Affairs Bureau which is the government body in each area where your property is dwelling. So in fact, anyone can, uh, can check the, this registration paper with a, uh, by paying a very small fee. So it's publicly uh, available actually. So if you register your title with uh, Legal Affairs Bureau, all the information will become public. Why? The paper makes it possible for everybody to understand the nature of the property, such as relations, you know, cause of the changing of the hands, and the mortgage information. By making such information public, the paper plays a very important role in ensuring uh, the safety 
and the smoothness of the real estate uh, uh, transaction. That's, uh, that's the reason uh, the government is making this uh, registration information available. So if you want to buy certain property, you definitely have to check a real estate registration to check uh, if there is any any doubts or dubious uh, people or dubious deals are involved and this real estate uh, registration uh, paper uh, contains uh, the three important information first is general records of the uh, property like the land the size of the land location and the lot number and also uh, the information about the uh, buildings on the land like location location number uh, house number and type and the structure and the floor areas as such and the second department uh, of the document showed historic items related to the owner so uh, are recorded uh, such as uh, name of the owner, previous owners as well, and the date of registration and the reason uh, for changing the hands. Like, you know, was it a simple trade, buy and sell? Did it change hands because of the in 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 inheritance? And uh, the, the last uh, department, the section of the document say other right information. Uh, it's normally the, uh, the mortgage information contains uh, re matters related to the rights other than the ownership and ie uh, the mortgage and at, all, at the time of the contract transaction day basically the buyer and seller uh, must get get together uh, in, in, in the meeting room to uh, submit all the documents face to face so at least you, uh, the buyer, if you're a foreigner and want to buy a property, at least you have to be in physically in Japan, not through uh, Skype as such. You have to be here in Japan. And uh, one of the reasons why you have to be uh, in Japan is uh, you have to hire a judicial uh, scrivener to execute all the legal matters for you. And the Japanese law require uh, this uh, judicial uh, uh, scrivener uh, to check your ID face to face. So you have to, so that, you know, you are you, officially you. You know, real estate uh, transaction is obviously involves, a, you know, a very big amount of money. You don't want to make a mistake, so, uh, legal our legal system require uh, this uh, judicial uh, scrivener to check your ID face to face and you if you want to register your property you normally have uh, two important documents one is called a uh, Jumin Hyo uh, certificate of residence and another one is sealed registration certificate uh, income show me the certificate of this income and if you are Japanese living in uh, Japan you know you have to bring those two documents uh, for uh, on this uh, transaction day and ownership uh, changes hands on the transaction day on the same day in Japan meaning officially buying selling you know uh, executed uh, so having those two documents ready by the uh, by that day is uh, very very important. But foreign nationals don't have such documents, right? So what uh, uh, what do you have to do? And there are I think two uh, cases uh, foreign nationals who don't have the primary address in Japan. Uh, meaning that foreign nationals who are residing in overseas countries. As I said, first of all, you have to be physically in Japan to execute a contract and registration at the time of the transaction day. And in, in principle, you have to have two important documents to register your title and uh, to register your title, show me. But you don't have income, show me, right? So, so how, uh, 
foreign nationals obviously uh, don't have uh, such uh, documents. Uh, as I said, uh, for the tra on the transaction day, uh, you have to be physically here, and you have to hire uh, the paralegal, uh, judicial uh, scrivener, who can execute the uh, legal matters on your on your behalf. And if you don't have uh, certificate of residence or a seal registration certificate you can actually uh, replace uh, the power of those uh, documents with the official uh, affidavit issued by your uh, government body and affidavit uh, needs to show your obviously your name uh, date of birth address resident number and other uh, notary information and you have to also bring your passport and uh, conventional seal doesn't have to be a registered seal and I'm hearing that uh, some countries are providing official affidavit service in their embassy in Japan so uh, seriously thinking about purchasing the, uh, a property in Japan very soon Please uh, talk to uh, your your uh, foreign affairs uh, ministry or uh, embassy in Japan if you know if your embassy is providing such service, uh, i.e., issuing the affidavit uh, when you are in Japan if you are in Japan. So for those uh, who are residing outside Japan, I repeat. You have to bring official affidavit issued by your own government body, passport, and seal to replace the uh, Enkan and uh, uh, Juminhyo. Now, for the foreign nationals who have the primary address in Japan, uh, meaning uh, foreign nationals who are uh, residing in Japan, you have to bring your uh, residence card and foreign residence card and C registration uh, certificate again uh, if you live in Japan you can register your income and also uh, seal itself bring your own income name stamp so I, I summarized the, uh, all the points again in principle you have to have the certificate of residence seal registration certificate but foreigners don't have such documents, so you have to bring your uh, official affidavit to replace those two documents and the passport. And on the, con on the transaction day, you have to be here to sign all your documents and changing the uh, registration of, the, of your ownership. And you have to hire a judicial uh, scrivener to do uh, your own legal work on your behalf. He or she can do everything for you with a fee. Foreign nationals who are uh, residing in Japan, the system is the same as us, Japanese people who are living in Japan. You, know, you have to bring a residence card foreign residence card and seal registration uh, certificate and seal itself okay that's the summary that's it for today see you later thank you bye